In this Goma factory floor east of DRC, students are busy at their workstations. They are in their sixth year of mechanic studies at the Goma Institute of Technology and Industry. They have built a vehicle with waste material after two years of work. This achievement has been a source of pride for the group and the teacher, and today the training continues. Each time we repair a car engine, if it is a diesel car, we always check whether the injection pump is working and ensure that it delivers a consistent flow according to the data of the settings. The students aged between 15 and 20 have used all the technical skills they've acquired to build Mad Max. It is the name they chose for the vehicle shaped like the safari model of the British car manufacturer Land Rover. In order to make their dream a reality, the group of 12 students had to overcome material and financial hardships. And their efforts paid off as the impact has exceeded their expectations. When the project was completed, we saw the joy of inhabitants of the city. And suddenly, everyone was interested in our project. They promoted it on social media, which proves their intention. But we need funding. They may have intention, which is important, but without funding, it remains insufficient. As time passes, we are sure investors will come. Since we used some discarded elements, we cannot give in detail the sum of money we invested in this project, but it cost us around 2,500 US dollars. Thanks to the car we built, we would like for the world and for the Democratic Republic of Congo to know that there are talents in the DRC and that the young people that we supervised are able to make great things. They started with waste material and were able to turn them into something visible. The vehicle was built using scrap metal and works with a diesel engine. Mad Max uses one litre of oil for seven kilometres, which enables the car fuel consumption to meet international standards. To develop other samples of this prototype, the students hope for the Congolese government and other benefactors to help them reach the next step.